Hi guys, welcome to sixth grade, chapter four, lesson seven. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So I rewrote them over here just so that you guys could see our work. Okay. So sometimes it's not about understanding how many times 14 can go into 32 because that's not gonna work for you. 14 doesn't go into 32 evenly. Can you divide it? Sure. Is it gonna come out to a nice number? No, it's not. So sometimes it's about looking at the relationship between the other two numbers. So 16 goes into 32 twice. So that means 16 times 2 is 32. Well, what times 2 is 14? That's 7. Okay? So that's your answer there. Okay? So, again, 18 is not going to multiply to 21. So I'm going to look at the relationship between 21 and 7. Well, 21 divided by 3 is 7. 18 divided by 3 is 6. Okay? Boom. Okay? Again, 12 is not going to go into 16. 16 is not going to divide by 12, okay? But I know that 3 times 4 is 12. So what times 4 is 16? Well, 4. Okay? All right. So, now, 6 is not going to go into 15. Can you divide it? Sure. It's not going to help you because it's going to be a, an odd number, a weird number, okay? So, but I can see that 15 goes into 45 three times, okay? Well, 6 goes into what three times? 18. Done. Okay? Now, this one I'm only doing because they tried to trick you, okay? 6 isn't going to go into 7. 7 not going to go into 6, okay? But 3 is half of 6. Well, what is half of 7? 3 and a half. So you can write 3.5 or you can write three and a half. Your choice. Okay, they just tried to trick you there. So I was going to help you out. Okay, so I want for you guys to do number seven and eight. Okay. And I'm going to have you do nine and ten, but on nine and ten, I actually helped you set it up. So pause that, write that down, see if you guys can manage it. Okay. All right, we're going to go on to the back. You guys are going to do the lesson chat. And we are going to go ahead and start with the spiral review, okay? So we're going to describe a situation that could be represented by negative 8. So we could say, Miss Leah took out Eight dollars from her bank account. Okay, you could say um, someone borrowed eight dollars from a friend. You could say someone lost eight points in a video game. You could say any number of things. Anything that is eight taken away. Okay. You could say you have 30 apples and you ate eight of them, okay? Any way that you want to do it, okay? All right. What are the coordinates of point G? Well, point G goes over one, two, oh, sorry. They're going by half, so half, one, one and a half, two, so two. And, oh, negative two, though, because it's going negative, okay? And up. 0.5 or one half, however you'd like to do that. Okay, so you could also say negative two and one half. Okay, so that would be perfectly acceptable too. Okay, you can say either of those. Okay, not both of them, either of them. Okay, all right. Gina bought six containers of yogurt for four dollars. How many containers of yogurt, <laughs> yogurt could Gina buy for twelve dollars? So. $4 for six yogurts, $12 for how many yogurts? So four times three is 12, six times three is 18 yogurts. There you go, okay? All right, a bottle containing 64 fluid ounces of juice costs $3.84. What's the unit rate? So in order to find that, I'm going to come over here just so that 
we have a little bit more room. So $3.84, okay? Divided by 64 ounces so that we can see what it is we need to be charging per ounce, okay? So I do not happen to know my multiples of 64, so I'm gonna use my handy dandy calculator and I'm gonna go 64 times two. I have 64, then I have 128. I'm gonna go 64 times three, 192. I'm gonna go 64 times four. That's probably not gonna be it. 64 times four, 256. 64 times five, oops, 320, getting close. And 64 times six, oops. 384, look at that, okay? So, okay, so 64 is not gonna go into three. It's also not gonna go into 38, but because we have a decimal here, I'm gonna write a zero instead of a placeholder X, okay? Then 384 was one, two, three, four, five, six times. So you can write on here, you can write point zero six with a dollar sign in front of it, or you can write six cents. Either one works just fine, okay? All right, guys, write down your work, show your work, it's important, okay? All right, thanks for hanging out for 4.7. Come on back for 4.8, see you soon.